Hey, yo. T King Fight News. Let's talk about the preliminary fights on the Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz undercard. We got Philip Hergovic, who got a knockout victory over Eric Molina. It's T King Fight News. We got more on this. All right, let's get it. So it's it's fight time. Joshua Ruiz, only hours away. Currently, we saw Philip Ergovic on the undercard in Saudi Arabia. Fight and defeat John, sorry, Eric Molina. Eric Drummer Boy Molina. And you know what? To me, not an impressive bout. The ending had some controversy. It was a, it's a third round TKO victory where, you know, first two rounds, yeah, Hergovic, you know, doing his thing, popping the jab, landing his, his share of blows and, and looking decent, looking good. You know, it's a fight he's supposed to win. And Eric Molina... You know, at this stage of his career, you know, pretty much he he's only there to, to fight some of these younger guys and try and pull off an upset, try and, you know, spark some, some lightning in a bottle, you know, show he's still got something. You know, this is a guy that went something like 10 rounds with Deontay Wilder. This is a guy who's got a lot of experience, Eric Molina. But at the same time, Dude's kind of washed up. And in a fight, he's supposed to really, you know, he's there to get knocked out. He's there to lose to Philip Ergovic, who, who's on the rise, who's a prospect. And it's 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 kind of one of these spots where they're in they're in the the inside. Eric Molina bending forward, looking to get a break. The referee's far away, and Philip Ergovic, he throws, he throws a rabbit punch. Point blank and period. He throws a real strong shot to the back of the head, almost. It seemed like he tried to pull it back, but he lands it on the back of the head. Molina goes down. He looks hurt. I don't know if he flopped. I really don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Some of these guys... Who knows how much heart they have in the game. It, it looked like Molina wanted to get a warning or a point deduction off of that moment. Instead, he got himself knocked out because he, the referee decided to give him a 10 count and Molina didn't get up. So, it is what it is, man. Philip Ergovic gets the victory. And there's not too much more I could say. It wasn't an impressive performance. He didn't knock Molina out cold. And it looked like a shot on the back of the head. It, it looked like a shot on the back of the head. You know, there's a shot right there. And it is what it is. Molina had his head down. You know, and, and he was, it's not like he was trying to hold. He wasn't holding. He's just in front of the guy with his head down. So what's Ergovic going to do? He's going to throw a punch. He's going to try and land it to, to the side of the head. He lands it on the back of the head. Molina goes down. That's what happened. That's the fight. Let me know what you guys think, man. If you, if you, if you saw the fight, what are your thoughts? Ergovic, you know, this, this is supposed to be a highly touted prospect. Right now, I don't see it. You know, right now, to me, the best prospect in the heavyweight division, Daniel Triple D. Dubois. After him, I don't see anyone else really on the rise like Daniel Dubois. Uh, Ergovic. Nah, nah. The other prospect out there, and maybe the next best guy in the heavyweight division could be Alexander Usyk. He still needs to prove himself. Those two guys are the future of the division. Usyk and Dubois. That's what I think. It's E-King Fight News. Smash the like button. What do you think about AJ versus Andy Ruiz? That's gonna be that's gonna be a barn burner, man. That's gonna be a barn burner. Man. I, I don't know who wins that fight. I really don't know. 
Part of me thinks Anthony Joshua could pull it out. I probably lean towards Joshua in that fight. I think I might lean towards AJ in that fight. It's a tough call. It's E-King Fight News. And we gone, man. Peace.